This weekend, a couple of our local high school teams get together for a non-conference matchup. Diamond comes into the day winning two of their last three. And meanwhile, Seneca looks to snap a losing streak. So early afternoon contest in Diamond as the Wildcats host Seneca. We start things off in the first inning as Ian Hefferin is on the mound for the Indians. And he gets back-to-back -back strikeouts to end the first inning as Seneca goes back in the dugout. They trail 2-1 to one after the first. So we go to the second inning now as Giancarlo Martinez pulls his baseball deep to left field, and that clears the fence for a two-run homer, and that gives the Wildcats a 4-1 to one lead. So we go to the third inning now. Seneca starts to wake up offensively as Cade Johnson is at the plate with runners on. He hits his ball past the infield. Two runs come to score, and Johnson goes into second base with a two-run double. That makes it a 4-3 to three game. So we go to the bottom of the third now. Austin Gardner gives this ball a right deep to right field, and see you later. He goes opposite field for a two-run homer. But in the end, it's Seneca who makes a huge comeback in extra innings, and they beat Diamond by a final score of, get this, 22-14.